Americans watch NBC News than any other news organization in the world. Next at 11, bullets fly in the East Bay. A freeway shut down as police scour for the shooter who was targeted and why. We'll have the latest in a live report. And what the Democratic National Committee didn't do that had people walking out in protest in San Francisco. Next. All right, so this is how it's going to go down. You are going to say you'll get the best deal of the year on Xfinity TV and Internet. And you even get this. Mike, you're on balloons. Sarah, you're going to high five everybody. Ben, you're going to be wowing them with your dance moves. Don't miss the Xfinity best deal of the year. Now that's simple, easy, awesome. Get amazing TV and internet during our best deal of the year with huge savings of $600 over two years, plus a speed upgrade to 400 megs free for two years. And ask about even more savings with Xfinity Mobile. Click, call, or visit a store today. Yes. Right now at 11, we're tracking breaking news out of San Francisco. An officer involved in a crash in Japantown. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Terry McSweeney. And I'm Anusha Rasta. That crash happened late this afternoon, but in the past few minutes, the roads around Japantown have just reopened. San Francisco PD says officers were involved in a foot chase of two car robbery suspects. Those officers called in backup. Well, the backup officer was driving, didn't slow down in time. His car hit one of the officers, one of the suspects, and ended up crashing into a bus stop. The suspect hit by the car has major injuries tonight. One of the officers on foot, he was hurt badly. He was hurt too, but not badly. And the second suspect was arrested at the scene. This all happened near the corner of Geary Boulevard and Webster Street in Japantown. The crime scene stretches for miles. Those streets were closed throughout the night, but again, just minutes ago, they have reopened. Now to our other top story, another scary afternoon for drivers on a Contra Costa County highway. Gunfire rings out and the target of that gunshot says he feels lucky to be alive. NBC Bay Area's Tom Jensen's along Highway 4 in Antioch right now. And Tom, this is a familiar scene on that stretch of road. Driver says he has no idea who was shooting at him. Yeah, and you might remember, Terry, uh, just two years ago, a man was shot and killed as he traveled eastbound here on Highway 4 towards the Hillcrest exit. Just last year, I was on a shooting here just off the exit where three people were shot uh, just south of me in this parking lot, and one of them was killed. And today, a driver tells us he was targeted as he drove westbound toward the exit. He was on the still.